TFNN Headline News Update Here's Tom O'Brien Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 4 p.m. Eastern time on Monday as we reach that closing bell and a pretty tame trading day to start off the trading week. We have the Dow finishing 43 points in the red, off about two-tenths percent, trading 26,515. S&Ps positive by three points, or about one-tenth percent, trading at 2,907. NASDAQ positive 17 points, finishing out the day at 8,015. About two-tenths in the positive for the NASDAQ, and Russell struggling today. Russell finishes negative eight points, or off about half a percent, at 1,557. We'll start things off, take a look at the VIX this afternoon. Volatility index, 1,249. Quite a number very little volatility premium priced into this market as we continue higher jumping over the futures markets we'll start it off with the dow we got an acceleration to the upside right at the opening bell trading from 26450 up to about 26,550. We finished the day right in the middle of that range, 26,511 currently in those June futures. NASDAQ 100, a little bit of a different story. We trade higher for most of the day, and we were at session highs as we speak. 77, excuse me, 77.36 in the NASDAQ 100, and we started the day 65 points below that level. S&Ps, much more like the NASDAQ than the Dow. We trade higher right out of the gate, trading from 28.99 up to about 29.10 just before noon. From there, we hang out most of the afternoon, but we do finish at almost session highs, 29.12 in the S&Ps. And Russell, there's your different story in the Russell. So Russell caught a bid in the last hour, but we traded lower on the open from 15.68 Traded all the way down to about 1557 before we just got a pop. 1565 in those June futures. Gold contract, 1276. Traded lower for most of the morning, then just kind of hung out at these levels since about 10 a.m. And crude oil getting a pop overnight. There's your acceleration as President Trump. No more waivers for Iran oil for any other countries. Maybe calming down some of the supply worry, as in calming it down, as in taking out some of the supply in that whole sector. Crude oil spikes higher, almost $66, $65.73. Stay tuned, folks. We're going to man Dave White filling in for the second hour of the Tom O'Brien Show, live from 4 till 5 as he wraps up this trading day. Stay tuned and have a great Monday.